Okay, Vlad, where are we? We are in West Virginia, in the snowshoe. Conditions like that. Pretty slippery. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Closest airport is not <laughs> so close. <laughs> it's four hours drive. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty far. Yeah, I think it's the most uh, remote uh, World Cup in the in the circuit this year. Um, it really doesn't take long when you live close. I guess it takes longer to get here when you live further away. But it, it's okay, you know. Some people live here, and they it really doesn't take them long to get here. Yeah, it's pretty far from uh, everywhere. I think the closest supermarket, like a proper big one, is like. 34 minutes drive, so yeah, it's not that close, but the place is, is amazing, yeah. <laughs> so where, do you know the name of the mountain range that we're in right now? I want to say... I don't know the name of the mountain range, really. The Appalachians Mountains? I know it's all connected, and it's this big, long road on it. Like uh, the Appalachian Mountain, yeah. or not. <laughs> Apple, can you say Appalachian Mountains? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I feel like that's wrong. Ding ding, that's right. Is it? How's the weather? The weather is super awesome. It's mostly foggy here, lots of rain, very wet, occasional sunshine. Is there any mud? Uh, not so much. Here and there, maybe, but it's pretty good. I'd say for the Europeans coming over to the US, I think it's, at least for me, when I travel abroad, I think the biggest thing is just adjusting to the time zone, obviously, and being in a new environment. Well, I think not now, because they had nationals last weekend, so they were racing, and um, we could chill, so <laughs> I think we're winning at this point. <laughs> but, um, and I mean, I came here early, so I'm not jet-lagged anymore, so I guess it all kind of depends how you organize your travels. So, you know, maybe the hotels or condos feel a bit different than sleeping in your own bed or somewhere really close to home but other than that I think at the end of the day it's still a race day so everyone is just as focused and prepared for that. What's the official mammal? Mammal? What's that? Like an animal. Ah. What's the official animal? <laughs> the official mammal of West Virginia is a black bear. Oh. <laughs> I've, I've been following you guys on Instagram. <laughs> how, how, how is how is called this like a... Uh, no, Rabbit. maybe not. How much of Take Me Home Country Roads can you sing? I'm not a very good singer, but I know most of the words. Let's hear it. Almost had. <laughs> Are you really gonna make me sing? I'm gonna make you sing. West Virginia. Take me home, country roads. Take me home. To the place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama. Take me home, country roads. All right. Please don't post that on the internet. <laughs> I'm 
know there's nothing. Yeah. Else. But like take those three rocks. Okay. Very, okay. And like very close to that rock. Like so you're aiming for that. Yeah. Yeah. What's the population of snowshoe? Oh, the, the population of snowshoes would be like... Permanent population. Yeah. 200 people. The population is 160, I believe. 160 free people. I'm tired of running after that Knowing what I'm chasing Don't want to be alone Yeah, it's super slippery out there, like one of the times, like, uh, yeah, you cannot do it by bike, so, <laughs> yeah, we had to, to walk, but, yeah, like, mostly of the track is, it's not that bad, but, yeah, that, that part of the track makes everything, like, so, uh, so bad, you know? I'm feeling good right now, like, I'm, I'm healthy and all, I, I missed some training, of course, during the last uh, two weeks, yeah, I had to recover from sickness, so, yeah, I'm just taking it one step at a time, uh, day by day, and um, maybe I'm not in the best fitness I've ever been, but I also think I haven't lost too much, and, um, yeah, I'm feeling good right now, and um, just making the most of it. Yeah, but even small goes, you know, I want to chase them with the same consequence, you know, I want to be there with right. all my heart. And the that's same what severity I'm... as trying to win the Olympics exactly. as, as a World Cup or a local race. Yeah, or exactly. Any, or... And, and you know, it's like, yeah, for the Olympics, I could really motivate myself because it's Olympics and yeah, I'm doing everything now I can. And then you go back and you try to win a World Cup and you're like, yeah, but it's only World Cup, you know, like, <laughs> that sounds stupid, but you know, it's like something really big like you know a big hairy audacious goal i can give everything for that and then when you then go back to like something slightly smaller i'm not saying it's not worth anything but it's slightly smaller and then you're like to get the same energy level to chase that goal that's what i'm working on now or what that's what i want and i realize that's what i want But the best way to get there is still if you aim for it. You know, if you want to go north, you aim for the north side. You know, you never meet that star. No. But if you want to go north, aim for it. like desire to really do my absolute best even if everything is good but if I everything is good and I do my absolute best then that should be fantastic you know like I don't always need to break a bone first <laughs> to get going you know so I feel like if I could get my mind to a point where I can just do my absolute best and realize actually I'm at a great point already and if I do my absolute best now then it can be fantastic that on a doorstep again Thought I might try to win her back I'm all out of confidence I'm a little nervous about coming back And every new heart breaks me to live in love So I hit the ground running so hard Whittle my soul in the way Try to keep my hopes up but they keep falling down Yeah, it was pretty good, like uh, on the first two laps I, I was feeling great, you know, like I even had a, a little gap on, uh, on the group and uh, when it was uh, two laps to go I decided to try another attack but you know, just I didn't, uh, didn't have uh, 
you know, maybe the confidence because uh, there were some crashes on the, on the downhill. He was super slippery uh, in some corners, so I was just uh, riding, you know, not super fast. So I think Chris uh, was, uh, you know, risking a little bit, little bit than me. So we arrived together, like on the on the finish line, and uh, you know, I thought that there was no chance to to win the sprint because. Chris is one of the guys you don't want to be at the sprint with. He's he's, uh, he's super fast and uh, yeah, just uh, second place again. You know, pretty happy with uh, with the legs and uh, yeah, I think uh, on Sunday will be good.